YouTubers, I did a video on how to fix basement walls. And we have one room left to do, so I'm going to show you that. All right, see, this is the coal room where they used to dump the coal in. It's got the efflorescence on it. And I'm going to show you cleaning this up. But first, I got to take everything out. All right, let's get this out of here. I've been told watching other people work can be fun, so let's see if you enjoy. Stick around until the end, you'll see a pretty darn good transformation. Sort of like ASMR, I guess, so I'll stick some music in here. The rest of the basement walls were a lot worse than this little room. All right, that's getting everything out of here pretty quick. It didn't take long. Now we gotta prep this wall. It's not that hard. I'll show you the process since the last video I left that process out. All right, so we thought we were gonna fix these shelves up. So we cut another two by four to strengthen this up. But So <clears throat> we thought we were gonna keep these, but instead, okay, so the GoPro stinks. The battery, which I thought was charged, is not charged again, but we're gonna rip those out. So uh, I'm not gonna do it like you see on TV shows where everybody gets all excited and just starts sledgehammer and stuff and breaking everything. Some of this might still be useful, so I'm going to try to take it apart nicely. Here's the freshly cut 2x4 that we decided against. So yeah, the GoPro messed up and the audio is working, but the video froze, so I'm taking shelves out. Alright, shelves are out. Alright, now I'm going to go change and scrape that wall and all that crap will fall in there. Alright, plastic down. Now it's just a matter of scraping this stuff off. And put some music on while I do it and in, in, uh, speed it way up. Be safe, wear a respirator, it's no big deal. Parts like this, a pry bar actually works a little bit better. Alright. You see black behind there because this is what I like to call the coal room. This used to be the chute where all the coal would get dumped down for the coal furnace. So the ball walls are pretty black under that paint. That's my guess. I'm gonna keep going. Wear gloves. Now it's time for this. So we're calling that good. I'm um, gonna clean up the stuff off the floor. Got most of it off. If this was out in the main room, we would probably go at it a little bit more, but I think we got it good. Um, it's really cold outside, it's like six below. I don't think this wall is wet, but it is cold. So we're gonna put some heat in here and see if it changes any color once I get all this stuff cleaned off the floor. Yay. All right, so that's scraping a wall, getting efflorescence off. It's not hard, it just takes a while. Yep, 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 yep. Again, this is just a storage room that we're getting new cabinets for. All right, YouTubers, I'm going to paint. I'm going to time lapse it, so maybe I'll paint faster. How about that? Starting with dry lock to keep the water seepage out to try to keep the water seepage out. All right, you could actually get away probably with using a roller on this wall because it's relatively smooth, but this one, no, so I'm just doing brushes. I would recommend that if you're, if you're doing a pretty bad wall, just use a brush. All right, I'm painting kind of terrible. Cause I'm trying to paint fast and also these brushes I've pushed them to the edge you know what I'm saying they don't have a lot of life left in them but we're gonna keep going but 
Okay, this wall. Changing brushes, go. That's it for now. That's the back wall and the top third of it. Have a great and wonderful day. I'm gonna keep painting tomorrow. It's uh, after 11 o'clock. All right, painting, more painting. Okay, YouTubers, this is uh, tough to paint with a brush, harder to paint with a roller because it just goes everywhere. Um, my big brush is kind of worn out from all this painting, so I used too small a brush, really. It took me too long. But then again, the big brush also, you get a lot of paint on this rough surface and it drops and drips and goes everywhere. And as you can see with this rough surface, as it dries, I have to keep going back over stuff to stop it from having drips. And that's just what you do when you paint concrete. So we'll let this dry. We'll see where it might need another little spot coat. And then we'll uh, do the we'll um, kills on there, which will stop the bleed through look. But we're getting there. It's a long process. Hopefully I sped it up fast enough that it's not killing you to watch it. All right, there'll be more painting. All right, time for the second coat of the dry lock. Showing you all of this. I'm gonna do the top half, the bottom half. really time consuming huh the bigger brush would be better but it drips more and it's a crap brush and two coats of this should do it I uh, think I'm closing in on mentally done with this whole project it's, it's a small basement but it's a lot of work and uh, I'm uh, being a little bit more messy Concrete is fun. This is not as bad as experience I had. I owned a house in the past. It was a pretty nice house. And uh, we bought it off an old guy way back in my previous life. And I think it had been 10 years and that house hadn't been painted. So I painted the entire house. Cut out a long story about painting a textured wall and ceiling house, 2,800 square Very feet. Particular. And it took me forever. But when it was done, yeah, I'm telling you, it looked like professional had done it. It just took me about five or 10 times maybe. longer. Grading myself on a curve probably for, for what a lot of people might think. All right. So... This is done. Next will be a top coat on it once this dries. Hoping to get this done soon. Okay, that's all I got for now. Now I'm using Kills 3 to stop any bleed through and give it a better finish over the top of the dry lock. All right, back wall's done. Got to put the finished coat on this wall, and we'll get to it.
All right, we're getting there, we're almost done. You gotta go over stuff a lot, cause it drips. All right, now we're gonna go back to fast. Okay, that's it. Now I'm hoping and thinking this could be one coat and maybe in a hour or so I'm gonna come back and see if any places need touched up, if any of the yellow bleeds through. It's just a basement storage room, but you know, when you're a little OCD or a little whatever, you can make this into a quite a long job. And I wonder how many of you put in the comments if you stayed here and watched the whole thing. Even though I'm not done yet, because guess what we got to do yet? We got to paint the floor. Just keep doing this. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work making a basement. 115-year-old basement look new. Er, better, good, er, more gooder. All right, like I said, I'll come back in about a half an hour and uh, look to see how it's dried and see if it needs any more spots. But we're getting there. Just the floor left to do. And the funny part is the vast majority of this, these walls are going to be covered by the new uh, shelf systems we got. So <laughs> you probably won't even see these walls. But I'll know. I'll know this little weird basement coal room. It's now nice and clean and freshly painted. And I didn't have that many drip marks and I went overboard. All right, time for the floor. This is Dutch Boy Paint Porch and Floor Light Gray for Concrete Floors. YouTubers, I think we're done. This might need a second coat, I'm not sure yet. Meant it might need a third coat, and I also use a brush to feather in the roller marks on the and edges. I know this is supposed to be a van channel, but I guess the closest we might come to that is uh, I think this is where we're gonna store stuff for the van. So it's kind of like a van channel. I did a little touch-ups on the wall, a couple of spots, but it was pretty good. And it's got two coats, it needs a third, so we're going to give it a third coat. This is probably far too much for some people for a basement. Might be laughing at me for going overboard, but kind of how I do. It's just gonna dry there's three coats on this and it is done next thing you're gonna see we're gonna load it all up with all that camping stuff I told you about and a lot more storage got a small house you need storage all right I'll show you that all right it's all done one of the new cabinets is in and we're gonna put more cabinets in all right another set of cabinets so well, these cabinets are going to be mostly RV stuff. We got the cheaper plastic ones because they were cheaper. <laughs> like, these were a hundred bucks, right? Yeah, we saved about fifty dollars. We saved fifty bucks for the other type. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so clean floor, two cabinets, these cabinets for paint and stuff. 
All right, so it gets a little crowded, but we got all the paints put away, lots of paints and cabinet. That down there is inflatable kayak right there. It's inflatable paddleboard, another inflatable paddleboard, 12 volt fridges for the van. We're getting it. All right, it's all loaded up. That's the room, all the stuff I showed you, and I'll show you the whole basement. Here's the walls that were worse, that were yellowed, but they came out pretty good. Basement's all done. Over here, all done. Floors look good, walls look good. Everything looks good, you can do this. Hope that helped, and I hope you have a great and wonderful day.